If you suffer from severe chronic pain, you will be considered for Minnesota's medical marijuana program starting this summer. The state health commissioner approved what's called intractable pain as a qualifying condition yesterday. Patients will begin, be able to begin the application process in July, and if certified by their doctors, they can start buying medical marijuana in August. So let's start first with what intractable, tractable pain is. I know Heather Brown covered this in a good question uh, pretty extensively last night, so we do have that on our website. But essentially, this is severe chronic pain pain where there is no cure. So they've tried everything and Matt, that means that there's not going to be a solution come anytime. Yeah, I, I guess that's the thing and, and maybe this is the part that helps doctors in diagnosing this and allowing for medical marijuana because a lot of this is just going to be trusting that patient that yes, this has been going on. If they have that history with the same doctor saying we tried this, you still have the pain. We tried this, you still have the pain. Maybe that's when you can get to that step. But I mean, the thing right now is our medical marijuana program in Minnesota is helping hardly nobody, less yeah. than 800 people. It's hard to characterize this thing as anything other than a, uh, than a flop. I mean, this yeah. was designed maybe to be an entree to get things started. But the reality is, this has been a bad deal for the businesses that have taken the risk to start growing and producing medical marijuana because there aren't enough customers. There are so few customers that the costs are so high. So it's a bad deal for the patients who are trying to use medical marijuana. It's a bad deal all the way around. They so are hoping this will help bring down the cost by adding more of these patients, these customers. How else do you bring down the cost, but right? They don't know how many people because most of the other states, they had pain in this type of pain and from the beginning. Sure. So it's hard to say. Some doctors are saying thousands. Will it? We'll and this see. is different than like, oh, my neck hurts. Mm -hmm. You right. know, it's real pain. So you hope it cuts down on some of the potential. You problem. do. And you do understand the hesitation that Minnesota has. I was in Colorado when they did roll out kind of their medical marijuana program. And everyone knew a doctor where you could say, oh, say this and you can go get your medical marijuana card. And it was extremely easy to get that. But I mean, is that such a bad thing? I mean, people that want marijuana are going to be able to get marijuana. Mm -hmm. And if they legalize it to an extent, they can at least tax it and control it right now. I mean, we can say what we want, but people are still getting weed if they want weed. That's not something we're stopping. I think if, uh, I don't know if medical marijuana is a good idea or a bad idea, but if the state is deciding that they're going to do it, yeah. then you need to do it in a way that is actually going to let us know if this works or not. And frankly, the way it is right now. It's so limiting. It just doesn't let, there's no way to have any reasonable data to say like, does this make a difference? Mm. Is this reasonable for patients to do? And so maybe now adding intractable pain, it'll give us a little better idea Take as to whether this is working or not. Sure. Yeah. Yep. We'll see.